You might have heard the expression, X marks the spot. It means this is the exact location. And we usually hear it in stories about treasure hunting and X is a symbol used to indicate where a buried treasure is supposed to be located. 10. X marks the spot. And that was just a clip from one of my favorite Indiana Jones movies, The Last Crusade. And you can see that the letter X also represents the Roman numeral 10. And in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about X as a consonant, the sounds that X can make, and its characteristics. There's not really a symbol specifically for this sound. Uh, it's basically represented by the letter K and the letter S. So it makes the sound X, X, and that's basically what we hear. Um, you can see, you know, how we make start with the k sound. You know, you raise the back of the tongue, stop the air, k, and then you add the sound s, k. Or if you say the letter name x, x. So the common sound that we hear from this consonant is k. However, uh, this letter can have several different sounds. So let's take a look at those. So of course we have the k sound. We have the g. Sometimes we hear the voiced g sound with the z. So basically k and s are voiced. G. G. It's the same way we produce x except that it's voiced. G. G. And then we have z. Or we can have a silent x where we don't hear the letter at all. So first we're going to look at some examples of words with the x sound. So we're going to look at beginning, middle, and final positions. So please feel free to pronounce these words as you listen. Beginning, of course we have the letter x, x-ray, middle position, oxen, excel, expect, experience, pixel, flexible, maximum, Roxanne, and this is a woman's name. Final position, axe. Okay, we have the short A sound, a, axe. Ox, this is the ah, ox. And now we have another a, ah. facts, facts, fix, short i, i, fix, fox, box, hoax, we have the long o sound, hoax, mix, index, complex or complex. Next, we're going to look at X as it sounds like the Z sound. First, we have xylophone. So again, you're going to make the Z sound. And if you have trouble with Z, this will be in another lesson. But basically, you're making the mechanics for the S, like a snake, S, but you add voice to this. Z. Now there is a small space between your tongue, you know, the tip of your tongue and um, that gum ridge z, behind your front teeth. There's a little space where air goes through and you use your voice and you should feel a vibration, kind of like the buzzing of a bee. Z. So we have xylophone, Xerox. So we have Z at the beginning and then X at the end. Xerox. Xanthan. Xenophile. Xanthophil. You probably won't use those last three very often, but it is good to practice. Next, we have the X sound. So 
Both of these are voiced. Gz. So this first word, you can have the option of saying two ways. You can say exit, you know, with x, exit or exit. Exit, exit. They're both acceptable, so whichever one is the easiest for you to pronounce. The next one, exist, exert, exact. And this one, we also have two options. You can say exile with a x, unvoiced x, exile, or voiced exile, exile. Next column, exactly, exhibit, existence, executive, examine. Now sometimes X can be silent and we're going to look at some words that are actually French. Sometimes English borrows words from other languages and we incorporate them into our own language. So this is an example of that. We have the French word faux, F-A-U-X, which actually means fake. You know, you might have heard faux fur or faux pearls. You know, this means imitation fur, or fake fur, fake pearls. Another word, Bordeaux. If you're familiar with wine, you might have heard of Bordeaux, you know, a nice Bordeaux. Uh, this is the name of a, a wine and the port city in France where that wine comes from. Bordeaux, the X is silent. Then we have the word roux, which is actually uh, a sauce, which is made with fat and flour. Roux. And then we have the word sue. Again, the X is silent. This is actually the name of a Native American Indian tribe, the Sioux. So these are just a few examples of uh, a silent X in some words that we use in English. Next, we're going to look at some sentences. Listen and repeat aloud. Number one, the fox jumped over the box. Number two, Xerox the facts. Number three, examine the x-ray. And remember the word examine has a g voiced g. Examine. Number four, Alex fixed the axle. Number five, Max and Roxanne were excited about the exhibit. Remember, exhibit has a g, g, exhibit. Number six, the taxi exited the complex. Remember, you could say exited or exited. Number seven, excel with maximum experience. And number eight, the executive was an expert at the saxophone and the xylophone. All right, I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial for the consonant X. And if you found it helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you'd like more pronunciation practice for challenging consonant sounds of English, check out my next video for the TH sound. Happy learning, everyone.